In today's video, we're gonna do a review of the Black Ember WPT, the waterproof tote. I'm gonna break it down and pack it out and try to determine if it's worth the very hefty 220 US dollar price tag. Luggage pass-through holder, double, side access into the main compartment. But is that a lame gimmick? But I also don't want you to worry because if it's not, you're gonna wanna stick around to the end of the review because I have a lot of totes. And if this tote, the WPT, is not for you, I'm gonna talk about the other guys, give you some alternative recommendations, because my goal is for you to find a tote that works for your needs. But first, the WPT. Let's talk about the gist of the Black Ember WPT tote. Black Ember comes from San Francisco, and they're known for making super high quality, super high sexy, and premium looking, and beautiful bags and accessories. And usually their bags and accessories always have like some interesting features, of which this tote is no exclusion. Some of the top features are beautiful premium urban materials, like this Recore right here, which we'll talk about one section from now. As the name suggests, a decent amount of weather resistance. Pretty nifty double side access into the main compartment. Luggage pass-through holder, a main compartment that has some decent organization and a magnetic laptop compartment, and the very interesting ability to actually modify the positioning of the tote handles or just to take them off altogether. But is that a lame gimmick or a super cool and useful feature? Talk about that in a few minutes. As of recording, the WP tote only comes in black, but it was recently available in blue, so there might be other color options depending on when you're watching this video. The WP tote has 20 liters capacity, which is a pretty big size for a tote. A lot of backpacks, like everyday carry backpacks are 20 liters, so it should pack out pretty well but time will tell. For the dimensions, we're looking at around 13 inches height, 19 inches width, and the depth of the base is about seven inches. Black Ember says this bad boy weighs 2.2 pounds. I'm getting a 2.3, close enough. This is the Black Ember WP tote when it's empty. This is the WPT when it's fully packed out and worn on me, I'm five foot eight. And this is the WPT when it's fully packed out and worn on our media manager, Margaret, who's five foot two. And don't worry, we're gonna pack it out throughout this entire view so you can see exactly what it fits. All Black Ember bags, not their wallets, but their bags are protected by a lifetime warranty against manufacturing defects. And for all that, like this, this donate, it ain't cheap. It runs around 220 US dollars. But if you're watching this thing and at any point you're like, premium materials, removable handles, side access to the main compartment, I'm in. And you're gonna make a purchase or you just wanna find out more information. We do ask that you do so using the first link in the description below. Reason being that link makes sure that you get the best price and we oftentimes have discount codes. But that link also helps to support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel and team so we can keep making the best bag reviews on the web. Thank you very much. Okay, let's talk about the outside of the Black Ember WPT. I always start with aesthetic when I talk about this section because, you know, it's the first thing you notice on the outside of any bag. And if Black Ember does one thing right, I think it's their aesthetic game because God, their bags are just beautiful. Simple, minimalist, clean lines, not a lot of wrinkling going on. Center cut zipper, it's just, it's just a beautiful bag that's got like that San Francisco vibe written all over it. And adding to that super cool San Fran vibe is the branding. You notice it doesn't say Black Ember anywhere except for on the zipper pullers. And then you've got the additional branding on each of the metal hardware pieces that connect the handle to the bag. But let's talk about one of my favorite parts, not only about this Black Ember bag, but like all new Black Ember bags, which is this fabric right here, which is a ReCore RN66. RE stands for recycled, CORE stands for core dura, and the 66 just means it's like super durable. But not only that, it's freaking gorgeous. Love the weave, love the pattern. Black Ember recently changed this fabric, and thank God, because their older fabric was, it was nice, but it was a lint and hair magnet. This fabric is such a big upgrade and I'm so stoked about it and it's just, it's spectacular. Moving on from there, we have this front zippered pocket. It's protected with a YKK PU coated zipper. PU coated zippers are great, especially when they're made from YKK because they're very weather resistant, but PU coated zippers do peel over time. No way around it. Just a part of the game, something to be aware of. One thing that I also love about Black Ember products is their zipper locking system that they developed, where all you do is you take the puller and put it through this hole right there, lock it into place and wait for the snap. The snap is so satisfying. Wait for it. Did you get that? <laughs> I don't know if you felt it, but I felt it. It's kind of like the sound plus the feel. It's just very satisfying and it's very functional. And this just kind of helps give you a little bit extra peace of mind when you're taking this tote on the train, you're in a busy city, little locking mechanism can go a long way. And then inside this pocket, 
we have a bit of extra organization. In here we have one, two larger pockets that are made with a black ripstop nylon lining. And you can also see above that, we have Black Ember's custom keyring solution. And plenty of space at the bottom. We're gonna pack this part out, but when I do totes, I kinda like to pack it all out at once because that's just the way totes are meant to be packed out. So we'll pack it out in just a second. Hold your horses. On either side, notice, Kind of flush, no water bottle holders, which might be a deal breaker for some of y'all. But the lack of water bottle holders is replaced by this PU coated YKK zipper that gives you access to the main compartment, which I'll talk about again a little bit more in depth in the next section. Couple of the points on the outside, luggage pass-through holder makes this thing a great travel companion. Suitcase plus tote is a pretty good combination. Couple other external lash points here and here. And then you have like a big old drop pocket right there. Just a good location for something that you might want quicker access to. And in black amber fashion, this is quite nice because it closes, wait for it. Well, it closes via magnet. Not as satisfying of a sound as I thought. But that's the thing with Black Ember. Like, I keep being like, yo, the zipper and the... Black Ember has this, like, freaking magic to them. There's just something, like, sonically, vibe-wise awesome about using Black Ember products. They just nail these little things that just, like, ah, ooh. I don't care if it's black magic. If it is, I freaking love it. Black Ember, developed by witches. But speaking of witchcraft, Black Ember did something interesting where you have the ability, as I mentioned earlier, to relocate the handles. You can kind of do like a little bit of a, a tighter situation, or you can pop these out and make the handle wider. Or maybe one's wider and one is more narrow, right? Let's get freaking weird with it. I mean, honestly, actually, I think it's kind of cool to have. I don't know how much more money this makes the tote actually cost, right? Because the laser cutting and the extra hardware and the R&D that went into that. I'll admit, it's kind of difficult to get this guy into place, but once it's there, it should be good, but it, it, you know, it takes a little bit of witchcraft of your own. Yeah, that's, that's annoying. It's really annoying, but I'll get it. Got it. The good news though is that wherever you like your handles, you'll probably just sort of set it and forget it. And I guess at the end of the day, it's nice to have that customization. I don't know, let, let, let me know in the comments below, like is tote handle customization something that you're into? I think that I like it. I know that I like it. I just don't know how much more I want to pay for it. Speaking of paying for it, this is making me pay for it. This is annoying. Ow. Okay, we got it. That was annoying. But like I said, I will probably set it and forget it. I kind of like a little bit more width in between the handles. I'll probably never do that again. And I like that fit much more. Speaking of the handles, a lot of tote handles utilize like a nylon webbing, like think like a seatbelt fabric. But Black Ember, they're using the same recore which gives it a more premium feel. There's a little bit of padding in there as well. Gives the toe a little bit extra comfort when wearing. Just a little bit. I don't need this to be like decked out with padding, right? Just sometimes when you have like a heavier packing day, right? You got your freaking tech pouch, your laptop, chargers, water bottle. A little padding can go a long way. And then to keep the toe handles nice and tidy, you got this little buckle right here. Sort of a handle holder, have you? But I will admit the buckle, the buckle is a little difficult to snap on and snap off. I can get it, there it is. Hopefully it'll loosen up a little bit over time. Okay, let's talk about the inside of the Black Ember WPT. To access the main compartment, we utilize this YKK PU coated zipper. On either side, you have like these little pull tabs right there. And what's interesting is that there's a little hole in that pull tab, which makes me think, oh, that can connect to a shoulder strap. But there's no shoulder straps that I can find on Black Ember's website. Let me triple check. Yeah, I, I, I can't find one, but maybe. Black Ember and all their witchcraftery that they do is uh, planning to have one in the future or at least leaving that door open in case they want to. But the good thing about these things is they also act as like a little leverage point so you can go ahead and use it to kind of hold, open, hold, close. Very nice. And when you hold open, then you're in. Now, totes usually have pretty limited access to their main compartments, but I love what Black Ember did with their lining. That's where they chose like a, not like a super light, but a gray. And that gray allows you to see kind of what's going on inside. This, better. And inside the main compartment, we have a zipper pocket with a couple of pockets in there. And I'm really trying to like show you inside this tote as best that I can, but these totes are tight, so please bear with me. Underneath that, we have a, another zippered pocket, this one being a mesh pocket. We've got a couple mesh pockets on either side of the bag and the magnetic laptop compartment, which also has a divider. Let's pack it out. And you can see, I just got a bunch of everyday carry stuff and I'm not sure what's gonna go where, but we'll figure it out as we go. Starting with a sweater on the bottom, kind of build out the base of the tote a little bit, get it to self stand a little bit better. Close. I'm gonna throw a book in the zippered compartment along with a hard drive right there. I will say for a tote, this one's got some pretty good organization. I got a 22 ounce Earthwell water bottle. We're gonna put that in the side mesh compartment. The laptop compartment has a decent amount of padding to it on both sides actually. You got a little padding on this side, 
little padding there. It can fit up to a 14 inch laptop, so my 13 inch MacBook Pro, very nice. And when it closes magnetically, very secure. You feel that one? It's Black Ember's wizardry right there. And I love this little handle that they have where you can sort of open it and close it a lot easier. These little things, dude. Black Ember's good at them. Continuing, I'm just gonna throw some stuff in there now. We got the over the head headphones. I got a passport wallet, compressible tote, a tote within a tote. We went there. Kindle, I'm gonna pop that in the tablet sleeve, which is big enough for a 12 inch tablet. Keyboard, get some work done. Another tech pouch. You can see, you know, at 20 liters, this thing can pack a punch. Another tech pouch, just packing a lot of punches. Umbrella, I'm gonna put that on the other mesh compartment side. We're losing visibility, but it's there, I promise. And I'm gonna show you how that side access works for the main compartment as well. And then, can't forget about that front pocket. Front pockets are great for things that you want quicker access to, such as your keys. I like Black Ember's keyring solution. The magnetic attachment point makes it easier to take the keys off, open your office door, put them back on. Very satisfying. Then in this compartment, you know, things I want fast access to, my AirPods, wallet, and a notebook, and a pen. That is a filled, beautiful, urban, weatherproof 20 liter tote right there. But here's what's cool. I think, I'm gonna, I'm testing this as I'm, I'm, I'm making it up as I go, but I think this should be cool, is this side access into the main compartment. Now, like I said, some totes will have water bottle holders right here. And for some of y'all, you might be like, no water bottle holder equals no purchase from me. You won't be getting my money today, Black Ember. Well, although you can't store your water bottles externally, you can still access them externally, which is kind of cool. This is a 22 ounce Earthwell, final answer. Let's see if it can fit a one liter insulated Yeti. This is where it gets weird though, because when you have water bottle holders that are inside the main compartment, now you're competing with space for the things that are also inside the main compartment. But I got a little extra room to spare. And the one liter Yeti, whoa! That's what I'm effing talking about, dude. Keep in mind, it won't always be that smooth depending on how much the tote is packed out. But that's just pretty badass, especially like on the other side, like, uh-oh. I'm in San Francisco, it's starting to rain. Boom, umbrella right there. I would always keep my umbrella in this pocket. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty impressed by this tote. It's got its cons as well. Don't get me wrong, I'll talk about those in a little bit. But I think this is a great example of how bag brands are just pushing the limits with new innovative ways to create what we thought was just like a boring thing, like a uh, tote's a tote, right? Tote's a tote's a tote, tote. Well, no, tote, no, it's not. Black Ember said, we're gonna do it our way with side access and all these different things. And to me, that is like the coolest freaking thing in the world. And if you're still watching this, you might be like, dude, I agree, that's so awesome. Bags are tight, I want more. Well, if that's the case, I got good news for you. Here at Nomads Nation, we don't just have a YouTube channel. We also have a world-class newsletter written just for the carry community bag nerds like you and me. So if you wanna be on the cutting edge of what's happening in the world of backpacks and travel gear and EDC gear, be sure to sign up to the Nomads Nation newsletter. In it, I show you the coolest fabrics and the limited edition drops and collabs and new products from big brands and little brands and everything in between. Plus, we also do some pretty awesome giveaways. So if you wanna be at the cutting edge of what's happening in the carry community, be sure to look for this emoji in the description below and you can sign up there. I hope to see you in your inbox. All right, one last note before we go into the pros and cons section. Now, I went into wide tote handle mode, which for me, I, I like it gives it a little bit more space. But because of that decision, I'm also gonna get less height right, give and a take for everything. So you can see when I've gone wide, the height from the top of the tote handle to the top of the bag, this little gapage right there, it's like eight inches. So, so the cool thing is that you can have it your way, but overall the padding feels pretty good, but I would have liked a little like anti-slip grip edge here, similar to what a different tote has done, which I'll show you in the alternative section. A little grip edge just kind of help keep the tote in place, but more or less it's comfy and that quick access to your umbrella or whatever you put in there. Pretty awesome. Okay, let's talk about the overall pros and the overall cons of the Black Ember WPT. Overall pro number one is the beautiful aesthetic and the gorgeous materials. Pro number two has gotta be the quick access to the main compartment. And pro number three, I gotta say for a tote, I think they did a great job making a protective and secure laptop compartment. But I got some cons as well, here they are. Con number one, this buckle <laughs> this is kind of a to get done and undone. Con number two is adjusting the positioning of these tote handles can be cumbersome. And con number three, there's no way around it. It's a $220 tote, ain't cheap. But if you're still here, you might be thinking to yourself, Aaron, I agree, it's not cheap, but God, I love that thing. And I think it'll bring me great value for the price. <laughs> and I'm enchanted by the witchery 
and black magic and black ember. And I'm gonna buy one. Just a reminder, if you are gonna make a purchase or you wanna find out more information, we do ask that you do so using the first link in the description below. Thank you very much. But you also might be sticking around because you wanna test the tote waters. You might be like, Aaron, you had me at alternative tote recommendations. Let's see what else there is out there. Let's talk. Alternative tote recommendation number one is gonna be this guy right here, the Air City Tote. Great option for you if you like black embers, urban, dark aesthetic, but you want something that comes in at a lower price point. Weatherproofness isn't as important to you, but you don't want that to come at the cost of really cool functionality and organization. Air makes some of the best products in the world. They're also San Fran based. And to learn more about this tote, take a look at the description below and you'll find a link to our full review. Our alternative tote recommendation number two is gonna be this guy right here, which is the simple all-terrain tote. Good for you if you're totally digging the waterproofness, right? This is a very water resistant tote, but it's got a bit more of a outdoorsy, kind of a badass vibe to it. It's like 70 US dollars cheaper. I don't love the access, but I do love a lot of things about this bag, including two external water bottle holders. Overall, it's a really cool tote, and we did a full review, which you can find linked in the description below. And last tote, it's this guy right here, the Alpaca Bravo tote. Yet again, coming at a cheaper price point, got a ton of organization, it comes with a shoulder strap as well. I think it comes with it. It has the shoulder strap option at least, right? So you can go from tote mode to messenger tote mode. Super clean look, plenty of quick access, and overall just a joy to use. And to learn more about the Alpaca Bravo Tote Pack, just watch this video right here. Any questions about any totes, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Aaron, this is Nomad's Nation, and we'll catch you next time.